hey guys welcome to this uh, new video about total ds flow uh, we are still talking about the components because the last video was about uh, trigger components and this video is about uh, actions components the next video will be about uh, um, output components after that we will talk about uh, uh, how to create custom components okay and this is very important we are spending lots of time in on components because components are the foundation of flow programming that is why uh, if we remove uh, components in flow programming uh, components are also called nodes uh, or whatever if you remove them you don't have flow you cannot have flows because uh, uh, it's uh, it's the foundation of everything well when we are talking about uh, when we are talking about uh, action components uh, think about it as uh, some components that takes in some some data some messages and outputs it to other components okay after an action or certain actions okay let us see last time we had we we, we know uh, let me I'll remove this one last time we saw we talked about uh, um, trigger components that have only one output uh, it means that the component itself can can create a message out of uh, some actions um, it can be on the network or in the computer it can be a request from HTTP it can be a manual action that you trigger here that is why we call it a trigger component well after today we are talking about action components okay uh, think about it uh, as something like this that is able to take a uh, it's going to take uh, a message in and do certain actions inside of it and have some output for another component or for an output so action components are very simple to understand this is the, the concept behind action components uh, in the last analogy we were talking about uh, a production chain where you can have uh, some robots in the production chain uh, production line that uh, makes uh, some specific actions okay uh, but at every start you will have something to trigger the, the process okay that's why we need trigger components after that we will uh, in the same production line you will have some other robots who are going to uh, do some actions like uh, uh, fill the bottle and then another action that is going to be uh, to put a label on the bottle and uh, put the so on and so forth okay that's the concept behind action components and this is what we are going to see how to 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 make some actions what are the action components we already have in total yes flow and um, make some tests with it we already have our folder of last time we still have it and uh, we are going to use it to start the project i go to my desktop then flow lab okay inside of it we have our flow product project uh, so i go inside the flow again and i type npm start this is going to spin up uh, an instance of total js flow on port 8000 i can open my browser and type a local host 8000 yes okay last time we were working on this uh, on this uh, flow okay this flow is called components because uh, like i said we are going to spend very long time on this kind of components we saw actions uh, some trigger components like a uh, trigger that is able let me show you uh, an output component this is not the the goal of the video but at least we can download some output components so that you can see 
how a trio component can create a message and send it into the flow so let us uh, download some components click on download and I'll search for print okay the print is the output component we're going to talk to have a video specially for output components but for now I'm just using print to print as the name says the output of the trigger component okay if you followed uh, the video about the hello world application you must understand a little bit what I'm talking about here if you click on run you trigger the flow and you have a message that is created a string that is sent to the output to this print component okay sorry now what we are going to do is to at least have a an action component here that is going to process our component our message from trigger component let us go and download a new component we, we can't have lots of action components there are so many action components okay? okay if you want to search for action components you can click here and start searching what i want to uh, see is uh, let us see hmm. action component i will take for example string operation oh okay let me use this uh, search bar okay we have a, a component called string operations i think that i already installed it and yes we have it here this is one of the popular and very easy to use uh, action components okay if i drag and drop it here on the canvas on the designer i can okay right click here yes there are some comp some colors here okay i'll make i'll make a video after to talk about connections okay how the connection work how you can change the, the action uh, the the colors of some some connections uh, or maybe not i'm not going to have a special video for it when we are going to make some special flows for as examples of how to use total jazz in some um, cases use cases maybe i'm going to cover how to um, handle the colors of uh, our connections okay we can right click and remove it like that we connect it to this and we connect it to the output okay i can save as you can see the string operations is a, a an a component that is going to transform is our string okay uh, if i double, double click on this component i will see this action we can do okay like a string that you have in the output we can capitalize it we can put it in lower keys we can put it in upper keys we can transform it into slug or remove the the, the equity uh, characters and or reverse it there are some this is some basic uh, string operation that we can put uh, we can have on this kind of components okay let us select lower case for example and click to on apply uh, from now we can click on one and yes we have the the, the message in and the message out for now we cannot see the difference okay because we don't have a custom string here if we uh, uncheck the random data here we are able now to put our own custom string okay, let us see hello world okay and click on apply if i now click on one we have a message here okay let me drag and drop another output so that you see the data in and compare it to the data out the string in and the string out if i run here you see hello world this with some capital letters but here it transform it as you can easily understand it means that these kind of actions okay action components try to transform the message on the flow on the flow line of uh, flow stream you can have a message 
that is going to be transformed over and over thanks to some action components. Most of the time, uh, the, the output components can have some little actions before they output it. But this is another video that I'm going to cover. It means the next video. Okay. Let me show you some other uh, components, action components. There are lots of so many. There are many uh, action components. For example, if I say, um, hmm, you have so many, I don't know which one I can take. For example, generate code OTP, conf confirmation code or OTP. Well, I, I am going to test with uh, confirmation code. Okay, this kind of components are able to generate some code like uh, someone wants to subscribe uh, to sign sign up in your website to send a confirmation code in his uh, website or per, via, via sms this is what it does the, the the main thing that makes the the components the action components outstanding is the connection in and the connection out okay keep it in mind if you have a connection a component that have connection in and connection out it means at least that it is action component well, it can be action component so this is the end of this video thank you for watching and i see you in the next video about the output components